All right, welcome back to Morning Live here on SABC2 and SABC News Channel 404. The I Care We Care campaign seeks to mobilize communities to pledge and take a firm stand against the acts of destruction, burning, looting and vandalism of publicly owned community infrastructure. This includes working with law enforcement agencies to bring to book culprits who perpetuate these acts. To speak to us more about this campaign, we joined in our studios this morning by Gauteng MEC for Infrastructure Development, Jacob Mamabolo. And Tati Mamabolo, good morning to you and thank you very much for your time. Good morning and thanks to all the viewers. Thank you very much indeed for your time. The campaign launches today in Bekesdal. Tell us more about it. Yes, uh, let me s announce that today we are in the in Bekesdal, in the local municipality of Western Area. We will be launching a campaign that we call I Care We Care, uh, which seeks to create a partnership between uh, government and communities to work together to make sure that we preserve, we protect, we defend uh, public property as the common heritage of all the people. One of the challenges we have identified is that uh, our country and of course our province, uh, we investing millions of rents in rollout of infrastructure to empower our communities to make sure that we improve the living conditions of our people. But at the same time, we need to make investments in making sure that we have conversations, dialogue with the people. We talk to them to say public property is important. Preserve it, protect it, and people can do this in many ways. We'll be rolling out a pledge, which is a simple statement of commitment by everybody saying, I will make sure that no one destroys public property, myself too. We will work together with everybody, government, community law enforcement agencies, all of us to preserve, to protect public property. That's okay. what we'll be doing. Today. So you're looking at one million pledges in six months? Yes, and let me say that, uh, remember that this month uh, marks uh, the celebration of the life of one of the most outstanding leaders uh, we have had the opportunity, you know, the privilege to work with, Utata Nelson Mandela. So this is the month of activism. We just come from the June 16th, uh, month, I mean the youth month, we're going to the women's month. So the period in which we are and of course going to the 14th of December, we will be working with communities to make sure that they sign the pledge and we're looking at at least a million signatures of people saying we will make sure that nobody um, distract or, or destroy or treat property with contempt. You see people littering, throwing things, stealing. Some even go to an extent of building public property. So the whole liberation of our country at the core of it is the property question to make sure that our people are empowered. So if we destroy property, mm. we don't respect it, we treat it with contempt, we are actually undermining our own freedom and liberation. But will signing a pledge really make a difference uh, in the Mamabola? I mean, it's different from doing something. Signing is something different from really not taking part in destroying property. Firstly, just by signing, reading the pledge and signing and taking a, or making a commitment to take a stand is actually doing something. Remember that uh, in our country, one of the things that we have done, but I think it's not enough, is to condemn people banning public property. That is not enough. So we need action. We need to go to the ground. We need to talk to the people. We need to educate them. Because remember, um, historically, public property has been seen and treated as, you know, a target for um, struggle, for, you know, identified as part of the enemies as property and system so we have never gone to the people to talk to them about the importance so of it's more property. of public education it's than public education else. and any education particularly public education can never be a waste of time and every public education and education in general is very much important so it's never late let's go talk to the people by signing the pledge i can assure you we will be taking clear concrete practical action because we can't just leave it to the police we can't leave it to law enforcement mm. we need all of us to go talk to the people and make sure that we engage them we build our next consciousness and give them the necessary consciousness and promote cultured behavior to make sure that people respect 
public property. Right. This is a provincial campaign. Today you are in Bakersdale, but are there any specific areas that you will be, you know, visiting with this campaign? Our province, um, like of course other provinces, we have uh, experienced destruction of public property in the form of burning. But public property gets undermined almost daily. People take small things, they never have the awareness that they're inconveniencing other people. You go to public libraries, you see people, some steal books, some, you know, leave public places. So there are areas that have been in the public spotlight. So from mm -hmm. Begastal, we'll go to the city of Tswane, Kuruleni, across the province. Every place is very important to promote the message about preserving and protecting public property. All right. So how do they go about uh, taking part in, in the event? You know, what, uh, how we have uh, conceptualized and structured the campaign is that we will firstly go to the people uh, through like we're doing today and we'll have a pledge you know people can sign but we're also creating other platforms particularly electronic platforms where people can also send us um, you know, through WhatsApp, through website, uh, okay, email, so Facebook. So you can do electronic signature mm -hmm. um, and send it to us. All what we're asking is please take a firm stand to say I will make sure that I don't inconvenience anyone, uh, future generations, people around me. If I'm in a public space, public property, I will make sure that I care. Because remember, people who destroy public property or litter or steal from it, first they have to cross the line that says, I don't care, I'm doing it. So the campaign seeks to say, I care about public property. And we're trying to build a progressive culture. Uh, a very good uh, ethic, ethical and moral uh, value system mm. uh, to make sure that, you know, people are conscious of public spaces, public property, and this is actually the common heritage of all our people. So I'm inviting, uh, on behalf of the provincial government, everybody, communities, let's work together and make sure that people have the awareness and consciousness to say, this is not mine alone. We are all better with public property. Okay. Let's preserve it properly. Uh, protect it and I can assure you that is the only way to go otherwise we will uh, lose a lot All right, no, that's where we're going to live at MEC property. thank you so much for your thank time. Thank you very much. There you have uh, the MEC for infrastructure development in Gauteng. Uh, Jacob Mamabolo talking to us about the launch of the I Care We Care campaign. Well we're taking a break when we come back 7 o'clock news bulletin don't go away.